looking how to create a virtual summit online at this 2020 or 2021 and beyond look no further i'm going to explain to you how you can create your virtual summit in nine simple steps so stay tuned hi and welcome to the irresistible marketing lab youtube channel my name is anna andrea and i will be your host in this channel you will learn how to create momentum in your business by designing virtual events with automated communication you will also find tutorials on digital marketing strategies and my favorite tools so that you can make a bigger impact in this world let's get started okay hi so today i'm going to walk you through the nine steps that you need so you can get started in creating your virtual summit and having a profit with it as well not just spread your message and make an impact but make some income in the process so what is the first step the first step is you gotta decide your topic what is it going to be about? Who is it going to be for? And what are you going to teach? That's the first step. The second step is you have to research experts in the industry about the topic and the theme that you're going to create the virtual event about so you go and you research in google facebook instagram pinterest linkedin snapchat TikTok, wherever people hang out your speakers are hanging out so you do a research and you look for speakers that are talking about the theme and the topic that you're going to create the event about topics that are related to it and you reach out to them once you reach out to them this is step number three you book them you reach out you tell them the event information you persuade them to participate and you book the calls so you can interview them or they can train your audience. And then right in the same time, in step four, you have to decide how long the event is going to be. Because based on how long the event is going to be and what format you're going to deliver this on, that's how many speakers you need to book to tr to record with that's how many speakers you have to go look for to book and record interviews and trainings and that way you are not just like telling everybody and not having like a limit okay so you decide how many days the event is going to be. Is it going to be a one day full event? Is it going to be a three day event? Is it going to be a seven day event, a 10 day event, 12 day event, 15 day event, 14 day event, 21 day event, 30 day event? You know what I'm saying? It, it, there's so many options. You just choose one. Choose what format you want to deliver. Is it going to be live? Is it going to be pre-recorded? Once you decide those two things, then you create a full list of speakers, uh, you do the research, and so three and four, or four and three, and then the five goes right after that, after you booked, you record, you go and record the interviews, you actually get ready, put some makeup on if you're a girl, and if you like makeup, if you don't if you don't like makeup don't put makeup on but i used to i don't put makeup on in my real life all the time but for doing videos i like it because i look pretty <laughs> i like it so i put it on so do you you do you be presentable and record but always be pre presentable it doesn't it doesn't matter if you have a t-shirt on but wash your face put on a smile and prepare the talk let the speakers know what is it going to be about what questions are you going to ask or if you're just going to wing it what is the topic 
or if they're going to or if you're going to give them the space to teach about whatever they teach in their program and upsell to their programs or give away a freebie now once you are recording and have finished that you create the funnels where people are going to subscribe to join your virtual event you could create a normal funnel or you could do a chatbot registration you can get people to register through messenger and you don't even need a website for that you can use many chat and i will drop the link below if you don't have a many chat account there's a free link below where you can get it also you have to create the websites where you're going to embed the video because i'm talking about when we pre-record a virtual summit we have to create websites so we can host the video in a website and have our own space if you're going to host it on facebook or on youtube then you don't need those websites um my clients and i we record and up we record the videos upload them to youtube set them as unlisted and we embed them on websites why do i tell my clients to use youtube instead of paying for hosting on videos somewhere else um even though people can do things to save your videos or download them and stuff like that um it's because it supports your youtube channel your watch time it helps you with your analytics it helps you with your ads later on because it's gathering data of your ideal client that's watching you hello there's so many benefits of leaving it in your youtube channel trust me unlisted of course not public if you're gonna be charging for the replays of the videos what i do is that i shut them off on youtube in my original account and then i have another account where i upload those videos for the people that have paid them and nobody knows those links no one so that's how i set it up okay um i don't pay vimeo but you could also do that you could use vimeo and pay for the hosting of the videos so that they're 100 percent secure and nobody can download them okay now the other step that you need to do the next step is step number seven step number seven is promote your launch promote 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 do not leave the promotion just for the speakers. You also do your social media promotions. You could create blogs. You could go and get interviewed yourself in podcasts of other people of your same speakers and talk about the event. See if the speakers want to do a Facebook Live with you to promote the event. Um, promote, promote, promote. Uh, step number eight, sell your replays remove the replays after 72 hours and sell the replays to make a profit you can create virtual events that are a hundred percent free and give them away and not charge for the replays and just turn the interviews off you can leave the interviews on and make it evergreen and not sell the replays and upsell them to your higher ticket programs or you could sell a ticket to your virtual event you could sell a ticket for your virtual event as low as seven dollars seven dollars eleven dollars seventeen dollars twenty seven dollars one hundred ninety seven dollars ninety seven dollars i've seen a virtual event um for 297 if they are not live you cannot charge more than five hundred dollars like seriously for a ticket that's a lot not even tony robbins not even tony robbins is charging that much for pre-recording he actually does everything live so the tickets are worth more because they are also giving tickets for the in-person event for example um but the idea of having a virtual summit that's free and you upsell the replays and your programs is so that you can reach the most amount of people possible and you give the opportunity of people to test drive your content to get to know you to see if they're going to like you to get to trust you and 
once that event is over, even if it's pre-recorded, even if it's free, you're going to get sales if you get them on coaching calls and you solve their issues. So that's step number eight. Sell the replays, sell something, do an upsell, book coaching calls and upsell them to high ticket. Whatever you do, make sure that you create an offer for this event. The ninth step, and with this, I'm going to close. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe with the little bell if you're on YouTube. Follow me if you're on Facebook. And step number nine is the most important step of all, which is when the event is done, you need to follow up on your speakers and follow up on your attendees. So you follow up on your speakers and you give them thanks for participating. You let them know what's gonna happen with the replays. You give them access if they ask for it. You give them the video if they want it. You give them the audio if they want it. And you give them a, a love note, a thank you note. And what do you follow up with the attendees about? You follow up about the event you ask them for feedback you send them a survey you ask them how they liked the event hated the event what was their experience with the event what did they learn how did it impact their lives you ask them about the experience to make sure that you make it better the next time and you also follow up to close them on the replays on your program on booking a coaching call or whatever your upsell is so you gotta follow up and you gotta know what you're going to do at the end of the event so that these people that are now on your list get more information about you get to know you more like you and trust you so that they buy from you okay so that is how you build your first profitable virtual summit or next doesn't have to be the first one it could be the next one but this is how you do it in the nine steps that gist of it i hope that this helps and get you started in spreading the message that you have to create an impact in this world and an income for your family and community. I will see you in the next one. God bless you. And remember that you have the power to become an irresistible leader online. I will see you. Ciao, ciao.